When we heard Call of Duty Black Ops was preparing to unveil its multiplayer, we didn't waste any time. Our destination, Treyarch. Our mission, the most detailed hands-on coverage inside Xbox can provide. So sit back, relax, and keep a sharp lookout. Every feature you hear about in this preview has never before been done in a Call of Duty game. We begin where the multiplayer trailer for Black Ops left off, with theater mode. Dan Bunting explains. You can switch the camera from any player's perspective in both first person and third person. Uh, you can detach the camera and go into free cam mode, which allows you to fly anywhere on the map, basically. It's really interesting if you, when you pause the game and go into free cam, you just see all the particle effects just in their full glory, just frozen in time, and it makes some really awesome footage. You really want to give players the tool to, to be creative, make their own machinima, make their own highlight reels. Maybe there are really competitive clans that want to just capture their, the, the films from their matches and then go back and analyze what the other team did or, or whatever. Also brand new to Call of Duty is Black Ops' new currency system. We put the currency system into Black Ops multiplayer principally because we felt like it'd be a very interesting way to engage with all the unlocks that you've been getting. So one of the things that's really fun about currency is instead of being specifically told at a specific level what you're going to get, we're unlocking features by level, but then once the feature is unlocked, you can purchase any component of that feature with the currency directly. Of course, when you got a little currency jingling in your virtual pockets, nothing feels better than putting it on the line against your fellow players. Say hello everyone to Wager Magics. When we were developing the wager match game modes, we went through a whole bunch of ideas to find the four that we were going to use to, to ship inside the game. And really, if it wasn't people screaming in joy and frustration when they were sitting around the office playing, it wasn't good enough to be a wager match. Wager matches are all free-for-all modes, and they exist separately from the standard playlist. They include game modes like Gun Game, where you're in a race to score a kill with 20 different weapons, beginning with pistols and advancing through ever more explosive weaponry. It's extremely rewarding for us as a design team to put something up there that people are reacting to really well and it's slightly different than what they get and everyone loves the core game and you have to be very careful when you're finessing the core mechanics of the game but wager match has let us kind of get our creativity flowing and do some things that you're not normally used to and then spin them up in unique ways and combine things in ways that you haven't seen before that you never really thought of and that wouldn't be appropriate for the core game but are completely appropriate for wager matches. While the classic Call of Duty challenge system is still very much in place, Black Ops is also adding a new feature called Contracts. Right, so if you're using the contract system, you actually have to put up a little of your own currency in order for a bigger payday. And Depending on the contract, some contracts pay XP, some pay more currency, some pay both. And But they're all time limited and it's game time limited, so you have to go to work to accomplish that contract within the time period in order to get paid. It's different from the challenges in so much that the challenges some players like to use very aggressively and they map out their path through the challenge system in order to maximize their XP gains, in order to level faster. And then a whole nother set of players uses the challenges sort of passively. They're there, when you get them they feel good, but Contracts gives you a way to directly engage with the content inside the game. It says, hey, I'm an SMG guy, I want SMG based contracts, I'm gonna chase my contracts and I'm gonna get paid. And that's fun. Another focus for Black Ops is player customization, including things like unlockable face paint, unique perk-specific character models, and a whole lot of weapon customization. We've been kind of, we, we stole the line from Full Metal Jacket, this is my weapon, this is my gun, and we kind of were chanting that around the office as, as sort of our mantra for this feature. Uh, originally it started with um, one of our designers had just, he just made kind of an offhand comment one day where he said, you know, 
I really have a certain attachment to the weapon that's my favorite. I want to make that weapon mine. And that was all it took. So from there it was just, um, what are the things that are cool? It's like, put your clan tag on your gun, of course. And we've got, the emblem editor by itself is, is, a, is an element of create, creativity for players. And then the, uh, the reticles, of course, so why not give people the option to click what kind of red dot they have. Maybe they don't like a dot, maybe they like a circle, maybe they like a triangle, maybe they like a standard crosshair, maybe they just want a line. And then there is combat training which allows you to get comfortable with the trappings of multiplayer by competing in matches against AI-controlled opponents. You know, it's our hope that combat training can convert people who are largely single-player gamers who might have, you know, dabbled around in multiplayer but never made that leap to playing online and give them kind of this experience where they can get familiar with the mechanics and features and systems that multiplayer has, but they can do so at their own pace, they can do so without someone screaming in their ear what a noob they are, and practice up and then join the competitive fold. Experienced players could use combat training to practice up on a particular weapon, a particular tactic, or a particular map. So we think it appeals to both audiences, but most directly, it was designed to help new players get into the mix.